The camera in an uproar today, some ecstatic, others quite the opposite as a proposed abortion restriction at roughly six weeks of pregnancy, which had the support of most state senators, has been killed for the remainder of this legislative session. Because of a two thirds majority rule, LB 626 could not make it past a critical procedural step in today's second round. So the bill is now dead and both sides of the issue are speaking out passionately. After four hours of discussion today, a cloture vote was called to end debate. That needed 33 yes votes and it fell one vote short. In a major twist, Omaha Republican State Senator Merv Reepy was one of two senators who chose not to cast a vote. The other was Democrat Justin Wayne. Just two weeks ago, during the first round of debate on LB 626, Reepy was among the supermajority who voted to end the filibuster and advance the bill to the second round. We've reached out to Reepy for comment, but have not heard back. His reasoning for not voting today likely had to do with his proposed amendment to change the ban to 12 weeks, which was discussed but not voted on. Here's some of what he argued during today's debate on the six week ban. Any such limitation must be reasonable and it must be meaningful in that the time frames imposed must afford a woman sufficient time to determine she is pregnant and to take reasonable steps to determine that pregnancy and that six weeks is quite simply not a reasonable period of time for those two things to occur. Following today's vote, Governor Jim Pillen immediately responded, calling out Senator Reepy specifically, urging him to change course. Pillen says in part, quote, I am profoundly disappointed in the cloture vote today. It is unacceptable for senators to be present, not voting on such a momentous vote. I call on Senator Merv Reepy to take a motion to reconsider and stand by the commitments to life he has made in the past. Meanwhile, the state's Democratic Party is celebrating, but saying they plan to, quote, take this issue to the voters during the 2024 elections so they know which senators wanted to take away their reproductive rights. Abortion remains legal up to 20 weeks of pregnancy in Nebraska.